the cell general characteristics it is the structural and functional unit of all living tissues plants and animals capable of independent existence cells have different shapes may be flat cubical columnar round or irregular cells have also different sizes the largest cells in the body are fat cells and over they may reach up to 150 micron in diameter while one of the smallest cell in the body is lymphocyte it is about 6 micron in diameter structure the cell is a mass of protoplasm that consists of two major components the cytoplasm and karyoplasm or nucleus the cytoplasm is formed of hyaloplasm is the viscoid colloidal mass that forms the matrix of the cytoplasm and is made of a mixture of proteins carbohydrates lipids enzymes inorganic salts and water embedded in the hyaloplasm are organelles and inclusions organelles are differentiated metabolically active units of living matter essential for vital processes of the cell like respiration digestion secretion excretion and growth organelles are of two types either membranous or non-membranous membranous organelles are permanent structures in nucleated cells they contain enzymes and are enclosed in membranes and participate in cellular metabolism they are cell membrane mitochondria golgi complex lysosomes peroxisomes endoplasmic reticulum both rough and smooth and coated vesicles non-membranous organelles on the other hand are not essential sometimes well developed in certain cells they do not contain enzymes and are not enclosed by membranes they are ribosomes centrioles and cytoskeleton that includes microtubules microfilaments and microtrapicular lattice inclusions or cytoplasmic deposits are inner cell products or metabolites that are usually temporary components not essential for vitality of the cells they may be present or absent examples of cell inclusions are glycogen granules and lipid droplets diagram of a cell by electron microscope showing the various structures present in the cytoplasm and nucleus membranous organelles are cell membrane mitochondria golgi complex lysosomes peroxisomes endoplasmic reticulum both rough and smooth and coated vesicles non-membranous organelles are ribosomes centrioles and cytoskeletal including microtubules microfilaments and microtrapicular lattice cell inclusions seen are lipid droplets and glycogen granules representing stored food materials several items have to be discussed in each organelle it's a site where it is present it's a structure structure by light microscope and if there is any special stain structure by electron microscope chemical composition or molecular biology its possible functions modifications or specializations if there is any membranous organelles the cell membrane or plasma limb site 
It is an ultra-thin membrane that surrounds the cell and has a thickness that ranges from 80 to 100 angstrom unit. Structure By light microscope, the cell membrane is very thin, elastic, and difficult to be seen. It appears dark brown by silver steam. By electron microscope, it appears as two dark layers separated by a light one, trilaminar membrane, chemical composition or molecular biology. The cell membrane is made of lipoprotein, which is a mixture of lipids, proteins, glycolipids, and carbohydrates. The lipid component consists of three major classes of lipids, phospholipids, glycolipids, and cholesterol. Phospholipids are the most important and are arranged into a double layer. Each molecule has two ends, polar and nonpolar ends. The polar ends or heads are hydrophilic because they have great affinity for aqueous solution and like water. They are charged and directed outwards and appear dark or dense in electron microscope as a result of the position of osmium used in electron microscope preparations. The non-polar ends or tails are hydrophobic non-charged and directed inwards. Thus, the phospholipid bilayer is formed of two parallel layers of phospholipid molecules lying tail to tail. The protein component is arranged as extrinsic protein and intrinsic protein. Extrinsic proteins or peripheral proteins are loosely attached protein molecules on both surfaces of the cell membrane and can be easily removed from the cell membranes without disrupting the lipid bilayer. Intrinsic proteins or integral proteins, on the other hand, are small or large protein molecules firmly embedded in the lipid bilayer and cannot be easily removed. Some large integral proteins are called transmembrane proteins extend the entire width of the plasma lemma, the lipid bilayer, and protrude from both membrane surfaces. Other large integral proteins can make one or multiple passes through the plasma lemma. They are called one pass or multiple pass transmembrane proteins. The cell coat or glycocalyx is a layer of glycoprotein and glycolipid on the external surface of the cell membrane. It has a very important functions. It plays a role in immunological specificity. It contains blood group antigens for identification of the various cells, which is very important in cases of skin grafts. It has receptor sites for control of the exchange of materials across the cell membrane. It holds the cells together. It shares in the formation of the bismuth membrane of the epithelial tissues and acts as a protective mechanical barrier. Functions of the cell membrane The main function of the cell membrane is the exchange of materials between the cell and its surroundings. This occurs by several ways. Simple transport or diffusion where gases and water can pass into the cell by a simple process of diffusion. Also, waste materials can leave the cell in the same way. Active transport, 
where large molecules as sugar need energy to enter the cell. This is carried through certain enzymatic reactions. Selective permeability with the cell membrane has the power to select the entering material. This is carried through specific receptors on the cell surface. Sodium potassium pump. The cell membrane always keeps the sodium concentrated outside the cell, while the potassium is kept concentrated inside the cell membrane. That is, polarization of the cell membrane. Phagocytosis is the power of the cell membrane to pass a solid particle forming a phagosome. Pinocytosis is the power of the cell membrane to enclose and pass a driplet of fluid forming a pinocytic vesicles. Exocytosis is the power of the cell membrane to extrude waste products outside the cell. Then, functions provided by specializations or modifications of the cell surfaces and functions provided by the cell coat. Cell attachments. These are attachment points or junctions between neighboring cells, holding cell membranes close together like terminal bars which appear under light microscope as short dense lines near the apical lateral surfaces of most of columnar cells. In electron microscope such bars however form areas of specializations called junctional complexes. Other cell attachments are gap junctions. Junctional complex consists of three distinct regions, tight junction or zonula occludens, at the site of fusion between two adjacent cell membranes near the luminal surface of the cells. It encircles the apical region of the cell and occludes the intercellular space, thus forming a seal which prevents the passage of materials from the lumen of the organ to the intercellular space, as in columnar cells of the small intestine. On the other hand, fascia occludens is a ripple-like structure present in patches and does not extend around the entire cell as in endothelial cells of blood capillaries. Adherent junction or zonular adherence or intermediate junction. Also extends completely around the epithelial cells, just basal to the zonula occludens. The two cell membranes in this junction are separated by a clear intercellular space containing an amorphous or filamentous material. The cytoplasm in this area is dense and contains actin filaments, as in cells lining the intestine. Fascia adherence, on the other hand, is also similar to zonular adherence, but present in patches not completely around the cell, as in the intercalated discs between cardiac muscle cells. Macula adherence or dysmosome. The two cell membranes are separated by an intercellular space containing dense material of the cell coat and delicate striations to stabilize the junction. The cytoplasm in this area is dense, forming oval plaques. Thin tonofilaments are inserted either into the plaques or run parallel to them and appear to form hairpin loops inside the cytoplasm. This type of junction, however, does not surround the cell like zonula, but is present in spots or patches and is called spot dysmosome. 
Hemidus mosomes consist of one half of a dysmosome. They fix cells to their underlying pismid membrane. As in case of epithelial and myoepithelial cells, where they fix them to their pismid membrane. Gap junctions are sites of communication between cells, also called communication junctions. At gap junction, there is a narrow gap between the cells crossed by many communicating channels to allow communication between the cells. Gap junction is found between epithelial cells, the central nervous system, and also between cardiac and smooth muscle cells, where it was first discovered, and also between adjacent hepatocytes. Gap junctions are considered areas of low resistance for nerve stimulation. They ensure quick passage of excitation wave from cell to another cell. Classification of junctions according to function. Tight or impermeable junction, as in zonula occludens. Adhering junctions, as in zonula adherens, dysmosomes, and hemidysmosomes. Communicating junctions, as in gap junctions. Mitochondria. Methods of study of mitochondria. Light microscope. LM. They can be stained with iron hematoxylin, acid foxin, supravital stains as genus green. They can be demonstrated by phase contrast microscope. Another method is the differential centrifugation or fractionation. This is a physical process for separation of mitochondria from the cell homogenates by means of differential centrifugation to study the chemical composition, different enzymes, and enzymatic process of mitochondria in pure state. They can be demonstrated by electron microscope. Mitochondria, size and size. Mitochondria are membranous cytoplasmic organelles permanent in nucleated cells, visible in living cells by phase contrast microscope. Mitochondria vary in number and size according to the activity of the cells. The number in the cell depends on its energy requirements. In active cells, they are more numerous than in less active cells. Mitochondria can move, divide, and fuse. Structure. By light microscope, mitochondria appear as rods, granules, or filaments after staining with either iron hematoxylin or genus green. By electron microscope, mitochondria are enclosed by two membranes. Each has a trilaminar substructure. The outer membrane is smooth, while the inner one forms incomplete alternating shelves or cresti, which extend in the interior of the mitochondria. The cavity of the mitochondria is filled with mitochondrial matrix, rich in oxidative enzymes together with dense granules. Chemical composition or molecular biology. Mitochondria consists of a mixture of lipids, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and all types of ribonucleic and deoxyribonucleic acids, together with oxidative enzymes, enzymes of Krebs cycle and adenosine triphosphatase. Scattered in the mitochondrial matrix are matrix granules, which are formed of phospholipoproteins binding calcium and magnesium.
functions of mitochondria. Mitochondria are considered as the respiratory apparatus of the cell or powerhouse of the cell as they are concerned with the release of energy due to their content of oxidative enzymes. Mitochondria can form proteins for themselves as they contain deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acids and also they are capable of self-division or self-replication. Mitochondria are concerned with the concentration of ions as calcium. They are also strongly related to heat production in the brown fat of newborn. Golgi Podi or Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus. Site. It is a membranous cytoplasmic organelle permanent in nucleated cells and is considered the secretory apparatus of the cell. It is always located between the nucleus and the periphery of the cell. In secretory cells or exocrine cells, it lies between the nucleus and the secretory pole of the cell, apical position, as in epididymis. In nerve cells, however, it surrounds the nucleus. Structure. By light microscope, Golgi apparatus appears as a network of fibers after staining with silver. It cannot be stained by hematoxylin and eucine. In hematoxylin and eucine preparations, however, its site appears as an unstained area called negative Golgi image. By electron microscope, Golgi apparatus is formed of three shapes of membranous components. Flattened vesicles or cystin are the most constant elements consisting of elongated parallel sacs peeled one upon the other to form stalks. Each stalk has an inner concave surface called the trans or mature face facing the cell surface and an outer convex surface called cis forming or immature face facing the cell base. The flattened vesicles are the sites for protein concentrations. Transfer or transport vesicles or microvesicles are small vesicles that carry the formid protein from rough endoplasmic reticulum to the outer convex immature surface of the flattened vesicles, cis phase or forming phase. Macrovesicles or condensing vacuoles. They are large distended vesicles that separate from the periphery of mature phase of the flattened vesicles. Condensing vacuoles mature into secretory vesicles or secretory granules through concentration of the secretory materials within the vacuoles. They either discharge their enzymes outside the cell, zymogen granules, or remain in the cell as lysosomes. Functions of Golgi apparatus Concentration of secretory products received from the rough endoplasmic reticulum Discharge of secretory products, secretion. It adds carbohydrates to the protein content to form glycoprotein either for secretion or for maintenance of the cell coat. Formation and maintenance of cell membrane and cell coat. Formation of lysosomes. Lysosomal enzymes are formed by the rough endoplasmic reticulum transferred to the Golgi apparatus where it is modified and backed as lysosomes. Modifications or specializations of the Golgi apparatus. Golgi-associated endoplasmic reticulum, GIL, 
is located close to the mature face of the Golgi apparatus and is believed to be a distinct organelle involved in lysosomal synthesis. It contains acid phosphatases. Lysosomes, site and origin. Lysosomes are membranous rounded vesicles or organelles considered as the digestive apparatus of the cell. Lysosomes are numerous in phagocytic cells. They originate from the Golgi apparatus and their enzymes are formed in the rough endoplasmic reticle. Structure By light microscope, lysosomes can be demonstrated by special histochemical methods for detection of their enzymes. By electron microscope, primary lysosomes are newly formed from Golgi apparatus and appear as homogeneous vesicles surrounded by a single membrane. Secondary lysosomes or endolysosomes, on the other hand, are vacuolar structures formed by fusion of primary lysosomes with phagosomes, and they vary in shape according to the phase and activity state and according to the type of phagosomes which they fuse with. Heterolysosomes formed by fusion of primary lysosomes with phagosomes containing exogenous substrates as bacteria, heterophagic vacuole. Autolysosomes formed from fusion of primary lysosomes with phagosomes containing endogenous substrates as mitochondria, autophagic vacuole. Multivesicular bodies, on the other hand, are formed by fusion of primary lysosomes with benocytic vesicles. Residual bodies constitute the remnants of indigestible material or debris, generally lipids. Chemical composition Lysosomes contain hydrolytic enzymes active at acidic pH, acid hydrolases as lipases and acid phosphatases. The limiting membrane of lysosomes is capable of maintaining an acidic environment for the action of its enzymes and protects the remainder of the cell from the effects of the contained enzymes, which if released into the cytoplasm would digest or lyse the cell, autolysis. Lysosomal storage diseases are caused by deficient lysosomal enzymes with the result of accumulation of metabolic products. Lysosomes are destroyed by hypervitaminosis, A or D. Functions of lysosomes Digestion of nutrients, defense mechanism against bacteria and viruses, which takes place as follows. The cell membrane surrounds the microorganism, forming a phagosome, which moves in the cytoplasm until it meets a primary lysosome. The membranes of both phagosome and the primary lysosome fuse together forming a secondary lysosome in which the microorganism is destroyed. If a residual body is left, it is discharged by exocytosis. Digestion of fluid droplets. The cell membrane surrounds the fluid, forming pinocytic vesicles, which fuse in the cytoplasm with primary lysosomes forming multivesicular bodies. Autophagocytosis. Lysosomes can get rid of degenerated organelles as broken mitochondria. In the thyroid gland, lysosomes help to release the active thyroid hormones. Also, during fertilization, lysosomes help the sperm to penetrate the ova. 
Lysosomes also are concerned with the removal of dead cells, autolysis after death. Residual bodies play important role in the aging process. Endoplasmic reticula is a system of communicating membranous channels extending between the outer nuclear membrane and the cytoplasm. Sometimes the endoplasmic reticulum shows connection with the plasma membrane, thus communicating with the outside of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, rough or granular and smooth or agranular, due to the presence or absence of ribosomes on the outer surface. In most cells, one form of endoplasmic reticulum usually predominates, depending on the activity of the cells. Comparison between rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Site. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is abundant in protein-forming cells, like plasma cells. On the other hand, smooth endoplasmic reticulum is abundant in lipids and steroid hormones forming cells. Structure By light microscope, rough endoplasmic reticulum appears as specific areas, as ribosomes are attached to its outer surface. On the other hand, smooth endoplasmic reticulum cannot be demonstrated, as no ribosomes are found on its surface. By electron microscope, rough endoplasmic reticulum consists of communicating sacs, vesicles, and white tubules, cystine, bounded by rough membranes, as ribosomes are attached to their outer surfaces. On the other hand, smooth endoplasmic reticulum consists of branching, anastomosing fine tubules. There is no cystine bounded by smooth membrane, as no ribosomes are attached on their outer surfaces. Functions Rough endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with protein. Segregation of the protein formed by ribosomes on the surfaces. Transfer of the protein to Golgi vesicles. Protection of the cytoplasm from the effect of the contained enzymes, mainly formed of proteins. Also, rough endoplasmic reticulum provides a site for attachment of ribosomes. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with other substrates than protein, for example, fats, carbohydrates, and minerals. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with synthesis and storage of fats, synthesis of steroid hormones as testosterone, glycogen formation in liver and muscle cells, detoxification of drugs and hormones in liver cells, formation of HCL in stomach cells. Also, smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps muscular contraction by acting as calcium pump. Beroxisomes or microbodies Structure Beroxisomes form another class of membranous organelles similar to lysosomes but larger and lack acid hydrolases but contain oxidases as peroxides. Functions Peroxisomes are concerned with the oxidation of purines into hydrogen peroxide, then conversion of the excess of hydrogen peroxide by the action of catalase into water and oxygen. Peroxisomes also contain enzymes involved in lipid metabolism. Coated vesicles structure. Coated vesicles are small organelles 
covered by membranes originate from cell membrane endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex functions. Coated vesicles possess a cytoplasmic surface which is sought to prevent fusion of the coated vesicles with other membranous organelles when the protein coat is lost. Coated vesicles, on the other hand, fuse with lysosomes. Coated vesicles perform many forms of intercellular transport as receptor-mediated endocytosis to transport macromolecular substances lesions into cytoplasm internalization. Export excretory proteins from rough endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi apparatus. Transport lysosomal enzymes from the Golgi saccules to lysosomes. Antibodies immunoglobulins transport from extracellular space to epithelial membranes. Restoration of membrane components and its recovery, which is the process by which change in the limiting plasma lemma is avoided, as the excess of membrane incorporated into plasma lemma during exocytosis is removed by endocytosis of small vesicles. Endosomes by EM endosomes are small membranous organelles usually present in the cytoplasm in the area between its superficial part and the region of Golgi and lysosome. The shape varies greatly, may be vesicular, multivesicular or tubular, and their content is electron lucent. Endosomes differ from lysosomes by the absence of hydrolytic enzymes present in lysosomes. They are considered the lysosomal compartments having low acidic pH functions. Endosomes fuse with coated vesicles. After they lose the protein coat, then receptor complexes dissociate and portions of endo endosome membrane containing unoccupied receptors above of as small vesicles return to the plasma lemma and fuse with it. Thus, many receptors are recycled, recovered, to be posed again. Endosomes can transport their content of lesions to lysosomes to be hydrolyzed by lysosomal hydrolytic enzymes. They can transport lesion receptor complexes to Golgi and GERL to be segregated and directed to proper sites of action. Annulate lamellae. Annulate lamellae are uncommon membranous organelles seen only by electron microscope EM. They consist of parallel cisterni arranged in stalks interrupted at regular intervals along their lens with numerous small bones that appear to be closed by thin electron-dense diaphragm, exhibiting a morphologic similarity to the nuclear membrane. They often have a perinuclear location in cytoplasm and might be attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum. At their ends, in few cells, they are detected in the nucleus. They are seen in rapidly growing cells as germ cells, various somatic cells, and tumor cells. They are of unknown origin and function. However, their possible function may be related to rough endoplasmic reticulum or they pass material from the nucleus.